everybody, it's me again, Mrs. Guzman, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the book Silverwing. Silverwing by Kenneth Opel. Can you see that? Can you see his name and everything? So Silverwing is a book about little bats. It's about silverwing bats. There are other types of bats in this book, but mostly it's about the silverwing bats, and specifically it's mostly about the character Shade, who is a little kind of runt of a bat. It's about the colony, and they are making their migration from Tree Haven to Hiberniculum, which is where they hibernate for the winter. And it's about his journey, what happens to him, how he gets lost, how he makes a new friend, Marina, and how he makes some enemies along the way as well. So it's a really cute book and fun, and it's about animals talking, so who wouldn't love that? I'm going to read just a little bit from the book that gives you a little perspective of what shade is like. I'm fine. He wished she'd stop asking. He was determined to prove himself. Even though he was a runt, he'd show the whole colony he wasn't a weakling. He wouldn't ever fall behind and slow everyone down. In fact, he'd do better than that. He'd stay in the front ranks the whole journey, right up there with Frida and the other elders. He could see Chinook up ahead, beating his strong wings. So it gives you a little perspective of what Shade is about and who he is and how he kind of wants to prove himself. So that's going to show you a little bit of the trouble he gets into later because he's so willing to try to prove himself. And some of the trials and tribulations that he goes through, I don't want to give away too much of the story, but it is a great little story. I like this book too because it made a connection for me text to text because I loved Secret of Nim and they had trials and tribulations in there and it's talking animals and so it kind of gave me that reminder there's there's a bad animal in this book Silver Wing and what he's trying to do again I don't want to give away too much of the book but I will say that I highly recommend this book this book was a lot of fun I've actually found that there are other books that there's a series of books about this so um, I found this one at Half Price Books and had, had it, added it to my classroom library. So I'm going to look up some of the other ones and read those as well and see what happens with the rest of the story. I think you should pick up this book. If not, pick up any kind of book and keep reading.